Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor, you're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. Because in my time, that man does not deserve to have a license. As a matter of fact, it should be revoked and he belongs in Don't prison. Lay Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, in this committee hearing with Anthony Fauci, she finally got her shot. And you've got to see this because she basically told Anthony Fauci to his face, you should be in prison. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Fauci, you were quoted on CBS Face the Nation saying it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science because I represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? I am a scientist who uses the scientific method to gain information. Yes, and you said you represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? Yes again, or no? It, yes or no? No, that's not a yes or no answer. Yes, it's a yes or no. I don't think it is. Okay, well, we'll take that as a you don't know what you represent. Oh, I. But this, as director of the NIH, you did sign off on these so called scientific experiments. And as a dog lover, I want to tell you this is disgusting and evil what you signed off on and these experiments that happened to beagles paid for by the American taxpayer. And I want you to know Americans don't pay their taxes for animals to be tortured like this. So the type of science that you are representing, Mr. Fauci, is abhorrent and it needs to stop. Mr. Fauci, you also represent the type of science that you, where you confess that you made up the COVID rules, including I didn't hear what you six said. feet social made, distancing and masking of children. I never just, said I made anything up. You admitted that you made it up. You made I didn't it up say as you went. I made it up. So are you saying this is fake news, Mr. I Fauci? I didn't say I made anything up. What did you say? I said that it is not based in science and it just appeared. But this is science. What does dogs have to do with anything that we're talking these about are, today? These are scientific experiments. This is what you signed off on. But you also told the American people they had to distance by six feet. They had to wear masks. But let's also talk a little bit further about the type of science that you represent. NIH scientists made $710 million in royalties from drug, drug makers, a fact that's been hidden. Let's talk about the fact about is it right for scientists and doctors getting paid by the American people, government taxpayer paychecks to get patents where they're paid millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in royalty fees, especially when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country, are recommending medical uh, suggestions and advice and making up guidelines like six feet distancing and masking of children. Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor. You're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Fauci, objection. I reclaim Mr. my Chairman, time. Objection. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time, Mr. Raskin. Gentle lady will suspend. Order. Mr. Chairman, of order. just in terms of the rules of decorum, are we allowed to deny that a doctor is a doctor just because we don't want him to be a doctor? Yes, because in my time, that man does not deserve to have a license. As a matter of fact, it should be revoked and he belongs in General prison. Suspend. The gentlelady should recognize the doctor as a doctor. Thank you, Mr. Can Chairman. Is this what we have become? Is this what we have devolved into? No I'll, decorum. You know what? We can do that hearing about the poor men that were injected with syphilis because I support you in that. That's horrific. And this government that I does things like that to Ms. Americans doesn't have decorum to the American Mr. people. Chairman, the gentleman is out of order. Point of regular order, please. The gentleman is out of order. Decorum. I recognize the point of order. Go ahead with your point of order. You got it. No, I mean, I, I, I was going to say what, what Representative Raskin said. That's completely unacceptable to be able to, to deny Dr. Fauci, uh, who's here, a respected member of the, of the medical community, his title. And that's actually a personal attack on, on his character. And I have instructed her. He's not respected. And I've instructed. Can I just jump in here for a minute? There's more with MTG here and we'll watch it. But I, I don't you love that the Democrats of all of the things that you just saw of Anthony Fauci using your tax dollars to kill little beagle puppies? 
Anthony Fauci lying about the, I, I love his clarification. I didn't say I just made up the six foot distancing. I said it just appeared somewhere and there was no scientific basis for it. Oh, okay. Thanks, pal. Thanks for that clarification. So you've got all of that. And the one thing they object, how dare you not refer to him as doctor? That, that's all you get exercised over? That's all you got, dude? This is outrageous. You've got to call him doctor. Okay, yeah, he's a doctor like like Joe Biden's a doctor. It's a, they're not a serious political party, honestly. Directed her to address him as a doctor. I'm not addressing him continue. as doctor. Let's talk about. I would, let's talk Mr. about Chairman, this. For, I, I'm I reclaiming my time. I'm reclaiming my time. Words get taken I'm down. I'm reclaiming then. my time. Second that Point of order. Suspend. A member can only move to have words. I'm sorry. The issues we are debating are important ones that members feel deeply about. And while vigorous disagreement is part of the legislative process, as I said at the beginning, members are reminded that we must adhere to established standards of decorum in debate. This is a reminder that it is a violation of House rules and the rules of this committee to engage in personalities regarding other members or to question the motives of a colleague. Remarks of that type are not permitted by the rules and are not in keeping with the best traditions of our committee. The chair will enforce these rules of decorum at all times and urges all members to be mindful of their remarks. Does the gentleman from California have anything further? Well, she should take her, we should have to take her words down. Yeah, I made it. I, I right. offered that her words be taken down, Mr. Chair. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a point of order. Mr. Because Griffin they is accused us of Mr. worshiping Griffin is, President will, Trump. We don't lady, worship President Trump. General lady will suspend. Mr. Griffin, you have a point of order. Mr. Chairman, while it may not be uh, polite, I believe the rule only applies to uh, members of this body, the Senate, and um, the President of the United States. I do not apply, believe that it applies the rule on taking down words does not apply to a witness. Again, I'm not condoning the words. I'm just uh, relating uh, or asking whether or not it applies to individuals who are just just happen to be here in front of us. I agree. The chair overrules the point of order by the gentleman from Maryland, but ask that members please afford all other members the respect they're entitled. Refrain from using rhetoric that could be construed as an attack on the motives or character of another member. All right. So in other words, you can go ahead and say whatever insulting thing you want to a witness. You just can't say it about another member, a member of the Senate or the president, which I think is hilarious. So the Democrats are all exercised because they're not giving due deference and kowtowing and doing a Debbie Dingbat on uh, on Anthony Fauci. You must call him doctor. And uh, it turns out the rules don't actually cover that. She can call him whatever he want, she wants, as well she should. The, the Democrats are not serious. Or the witness. You may proceed. Thank you. This was a time in history where you got to throw out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals baseball game while Americans were forced to stay home and watch such events that they love from at home alone on their televisions. And what a hypocrisy this picture shows. Here you are without your mask with empty seats everywhere. Remember the cardboard cutout fans? That was one of the most insulting things to Americans, having to watch the games from home where you got to go and enjoy the game and sit right next to people, not following the six feet of distancing, not wearing your mask, and everyone else was forced to stay home and stop enjoying life. And your science here, your science does displayed perfectly in this picture where children, children in school were put in plastic bubbles because of your science, your repulsive, evil science. And let's go back to your very own email. You said earlier you don't use email. Oh, you do right here. This is your own email where you said the typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out virus. I do not recommend that you wear a mask. This is your email. This is your own words. But yet children, children 
all over America were forced to wear masks. Healthy children forced to wear masks, muzzled in their schools. And then they were forced to learn from home because of your so-called science and your medical suggestions while you and all your cronies get paid from Big Pharma. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison, Dr. Fauci. Mr. Chairman, I have another point of order. Uh, I recognize Ms. Dingell. Just want to make sure the record is clear. Dr. Fauci testified that he did not use his personal email for official business. He did not say he did not use email. And I think today, this particular has been full of lies and disregard and disrespect, and we need to stick to facts. Well, there you have it. Good job, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, the, the, the fact that Debbie Dingell, at the very end of that, the only thing she could point out is, hey, 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 he said he didn't use personal email, not his work email. What about the children who were sitting there in preschool? with the freaking diapers on their faces while well, that guy got to yuck it up at a baseball game. And we're told, oh, let's just move on. That's in the past. We didn't know. Hell no. You're damn right he belongs in prison. And she's damn right to represent the people in her district in Georgia that way. It takes cojones to stand up like that and do what she just did. And sadly... A whole chunk of people in the House of Representatives don't have those cojones. Thank you, MTG. Well done.